today I have a birthday haul slash shoe review slash stock X review. So yeah, some of this stuff is stuff I got for my birthday, like presents. I received thank you friends and family. And then some of this stuff is stuff that I bought for myself, but my birthday was a couple weeks ago. So that's why I need to film this now because I've just been waiting to film this video and I actually need to use some of this stuff now. Let's get into it. And if you're just here for the shoe slash stock X review, the timestamp will be posted in the description so you can just skip to that if you're just here for that. But I'm just going to get on with my birthday haul. So first of all... I have this Tokidoki crossbody purse. It's covered in, I guess, like couples and like lovey-dovey pattern and a bunch of different characters. This is the bag I'm currently carrying. That's why it's covered in keychains and that's why it looks a little heavy because it has all my stuff in it. I wish I knew what this pattern was called, but I don't even know if Tokidoki like names their patterns because I've never bought anything more like firsthand from them. I bought this from Mercari. I think it was around $80, which is an okay price because this bag is pretty rare, but there are some scuffs and stuff on the front. So there's this bag. I've had this for like a month and I almost forgot to include this in the video. I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna get into some clothing and I will have a try on portion. So first, I have this The Mountain Tie-Dye Unicorn t-shirt, size medium. Look at how majestic this unicorn looks. Oh Oh my gosh. Purple tie-dye. This reminds me of Shop Jean. They were like one of the very first like baddie Instagram shops when Instagram first started. The shirt reminds me of them because they had a shirt very similar to this one but not this shirt exactly and I never bought it from them because it was really expensive. So yeah it says made in the USA. I have no idea when this shirt was made. I'm assuming because the tag is printed on it's pretty recent but I don't know this print looks pretty faded. And this is the mountain t-shirt with my majestic unicorn on it. I kind of wish it was either a little bit smaller or a little bit more oversized. I think if I layer it, it'll look a little bit better, but I just am not obsessed with the way this looks on me. So maybe this will be on my Depop sometime in the future. So there's that shirt. Next, this freaking hoodie, y'all. Yeah, it's a cropped hoodie that says evil. Evil. <laughs> Zip up hoodie. And then it has devil horns on the hood. It's from the brand Wild Fox in a size large. And y'all, I was so surprised that this is a Wild Fox piece. Did I literally buy all of these pieces because I was reminiscing of like early Instagram? If any of you guys remember the app, Want Me Love. It stood for Want Me Love. Basically, it was one of the very first shopping apps and it was just full of Wild Fox pieces. But even as a preteen when I was first using that app, I thought Wild Fox was like a cringy millennial brand, which I still do. Wild Fox is still up and running and their pieces are still cringy. But this piece is so cute and I cannot believe that it's Wild Fox because it's so cute and like modern. Wild Fox pieces, like a hoodie like this would normally run for like $200 and this was only 20 bucks. So I immediately snatched that up. Yeah, this piece online isn't selling for any less than 150 pre-owned, but this one is covered in paint stains and little holes. So I understand why they're selling it for 20 bucks, but still that was a pretty good steal. I've never owned anything from Wild Fox, but I'm happy that I own this one now because because you'll see in the try on, it looks really cute and it's a really comfortable piece. This totally reminds me of the old Victoria's Secret pink pieces I used to wear in like middle school. It just gives that Victoria's Secret vibe. And I'll put up the hood so you can see the devil horns. Like, look at how cute that is! They don't really want to stay up, but it's still really cute. And this piece is like the softest sweatshirt I own. This is super soft. And Wild Talks is apparently made in Los Angeles. Love a sustainable company. Also, right before I started filming, I looked up if Juan Milo is still an app that's up and running, and it is. So if you want to try out Juan Milo, you can. Okay, now I'm gonna get into stuff that I bought from the Dollar Tree on my birthday. Yeah, 
these purple bat fuzzy socks. How could I resist these? I love those. And then this, y'all. Crystal lip gloss by the brand Ioni. If you buy makeup from the Dollar Tree, you definitely know this brand. This lip gloss is like really good and it smells like vanilla cupcakes. So I recommend you try that lip gloss. Yeah, let's go to the shoes. So for my birthday, I bought these Adidas from StockX because they were sold out literally everywhere else. Foot Locker sold out, Adidas Online sold out. So this is my first time buying from StockX and this is my first time owning anything Adidas. And I'd say they're pretty cute. These are the Adidas Campus OOs. Look at that. And here's a little stock X tag. Now, what made me want to buy these were, first of all, I've been looking for a pair of shoes like these for a long time. I've been looking at a pair of Uni shoes. I'll pop them up right here that look very similar to these. Uni shoes are just a hit or miss. I've owned a bunch of Uni shoes and some are really good, but some just fall apart. So I'm not really interested in owning any more Uni shoes. But Adidas, you know, they're a shoe company, they should make good quality shoes. And from the looks of these, these are pretty good. There is like some foam in the tongue, so it's pretty squishy. And there's foam back on the heel here. But when I was looking up reviews for these shoes, I did not see a single female talking about these. It was only men. The reason I found out about these shoes is on my Pinterest. My Pinterest would not stop showing me these shoes. So it's kind of weird that I've only seen men reviewing them. They came with black laces as well. I will not be using these. I like the white laces. And I'm not a sneaker head. I'm just a woman that likes shoes, so I've never bought from StockX. I've seen some people saying that it's a scam company and that they'll send you fakes. From what I can tell, these are real shoes. I don't honestly know if these are authentic Adidas Campus OOs, but what I can tell you is that these are really cute and I think that these are real. They feel really nice and I'm gonna do a little try on of these shoes too. I wear women's size 8 and these are a men's US size 7 and they fit me pretty good. Yeah, if you're a woman looking to buy these shoes I would just look up like a size conversion chart online and they're pretty accurate so it's just like one size down or two sizes down these shoes just look so retro like look at that logo these look so 90s skater if they were fake would they come in a, in a Adidas box I don't know My verdict is you're looking for a pair of shoes but they're sold out everywhere and they're somehow on stock X. I would recommend just trying it out. And I'm happy now that I can take off these tags and actually wear these because I've been sitting on these for like a week and I've been wanting to wear these. But I wanted to show them in this video, so. Next, let's get into some stickers. Buy all the sneaker heads that we're watching. I'll show you the kawaii Japanese ones first. I have some Sanrio ones over there. First, I have these zoo animal ones. Oh my god, this is my favorite sheet. There's some stars and like a strawberry. So adorable. And then we have these glittery sea animals. Actually, all these are glittery. <laughs> then we have a sheet of sushi stickers. These are so cute. And then some pet stickers and then I have some Sanrio ones. Little twin stars. I have been obsessed with little twin stars lately. I think they're my favorite characters right now at the moment. Like look at this little cat flipping a fried egg. Just adorable. And there's the back. And then these my melody ones. Who can resist my melody? And then these cinema roll ones. These cinema ones, and these are all Sanrio licensed. And then, if you've seen any of my knitting or crocheting videos, you'll know that I'm a yarn addict. So I bought some yarn, pinks, and a navy blue down here. I'm obsessed with this yarn because it is so soft. This is like the best yarn for making garments that I have found so far. And then randomly they sent me these two darning needles, which I'm so thankful for. 
this piece why I needed to record the video because this is a Halloween sweatshirt and it still has the tag on it because I wanted to show you. This is a Forever 21 Sanrio Halloween piece. They're all skeletons. We got Bad Bats Maru, Choco Cat, Hello Kitty, My Melody, and Kurobi. Here's the tag and it still has the paper tag on it. So you can see it costs $40. For this hoodie came with this keychain. And this is just on my bag right now that you saw. Forever 21 Hello Kitty stuff comes with keychains. This is my first time in over a year buying anything from a fast fashion store. Yeah, I do not buy anything fast fashion, but if you know me, Sanrio and Halloween, I can't say no. And it was my birthday. This is a size large hoodie with the skeleton Sanrio characters on it. I bought a size large to make it oversized, and I think it looks really cute. Here's this piece. Oh yeah, and it did come with a drawstring, but I took it out because I thought it looked stupid. It was a white drawstring. It was just clashing with the whole hoodie, so I just ripped it out. And then the last thing in this Forever 21 bag, I only got two things from there, so it's not that bad. I got this baby blue fuzzy hat. Still has a tag on it because it's been hot here. Let me show you the tag. This cost 20 bucks. I don't know how though, but this feels like real rabbit fur. I used to have a real rabbit fur coat that my grandma gave me. It was vintage. Literally, how can I say no? This is so cute. This is so me. I am such a hat girly. In the winter, I have a huge collection of hats. And anything fuzzy in this blue color, I couldn't say no. Okay, and next I have these nail glues. I just bought these off of Amazon. It says 20 pieces. If you're a press-on nail girly and you glue them on, you will know the struggle of buying tubes of nail glue and they will just dry out in like two weeks. So this was a price of one bottle of nail glue. These should last me a long time. I haven't worn press-on nails in a while because I've been crocheting a lot. But when I'm not crocheting, I normally have press-ons on. And then these candles are from my bestie. But I've already burned two of them. So I'll give you a review of the two that I burned and I'll show you the two that I haven't burned yet. Okay, Dark Amber and Oud. This one has already been burned through. And not the biggest fan of this one. It just smells really strong like men's cologne. I'm not really a huge fan of like masculine scents because they give me a headache. This one, yeah, I was really obsessed with this one. This one is still Amber and Viper. Already burned through. This one is super light, but it smells clean. Okay, now we have cedar and suede. This one is brand new, hasn't been burned yet. Oh, that kind of smells like cinnamon. Okay, I'll really enjoy that one. And then the last candle we have is spice pumpkin and patchouli. Oh yeah, that one will be really good. I should start burning this one now, actually. That's all my candles. Hey guys, it's a week later. I was not expecting to come back in this video and show you even more stuff, but I ended up hanging out with my best friend again, and she gave me a lot of stuff. <laughs> And I figured I'd show you guys because this seems like stuff that you guys would want to see. She gave me a lot of Sanrio and San X and a lot of good stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys. Since it's a week later, I figured I'll just give you some updates on a few things. First of all, the Campus OO's Adidas shoes. I've been wearing them for a week straight. And oh my god, they are literally the most comfortable shoes that I own. There wasn't a break-in process or anything. Anything. They are super cushy and foamy shoes and I can see myself wearing them for a long time. Secondly, I have an update on the nail glue. I have these nails on right now. I've had them on for an entire week and they're not going anywhere. So I'm gonna get on to what my best friend got me. Love you bestie. She knows me so well and she got me so much good stuff. First of all, she got me this Scooby-Doo onesie. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Yes, this is the hood. It's Scooby and then it has the little dog tag. Official Scooby-Doo merch. These dots, they're pockets. Yeah, two pockets. Yeah, he has a tail. It doesn't have the feet, which I prefer not having any feet on a onesie. This one is just perfect. I think she said she got this from Walmart. Next. 
My bestie is also a huge crafter. She got me a huge bag of Dollar Store yarn. My Dollar Trees never have yarn. So she got me these three colors. It's the chenille. She got me black, yellow, and this beautiful mint color. And there's more in this bag. I will definitely use this yarn and I'm grateful that she got it for me because I'll use it in a video. So stay tuned for a video of me using this yarn up. Next. Me and my bestie are both obsessed with Japanese things and we both have no idea what this character is. She said she found it on a TikTok shop, but it's just this really cute peach colored dog plush and it feels like a squishmallow, like it's so squishy with its eyes closed. But the tag says Miwai, like kawaii but Miwai. Okay, now we're gonna get into this bag. She got me a Hello Kitty plush dangler blind box. Yes, I already opened it so I know which one I got. But here are the designs. You can get cheerleader, cowboy, rocker chick, or scuba kitty, athletic kitty, or ballerina. I really wanted either, I really wanted scuba kitty or ballerina kitty or rocker kitty or cowboy kitty. So there were four that I really wanted out of the six. And I'll show you which one I got. I got the rocker kitty, musician kitty. She looks like Ab Levine, legit. She's so adorable. Look at the little fishnets and angel wings. And there's even like a tiny slit in her skirt. The only thing that kind of creeps me out about these Hello Kitty plushes is that she is always wearing underwear under what she's wearing. I don't know why, it just kind of creeps me out a little bit, but it's also kind of funny, so I can get over it. Next. She got me these Rilakkuma stickers. It's Rilakkuma meets honey. She got me two sheets of these. Official Sanex. I feel like Rilakkuma meets honey is like one of the oldest series Rilakkuma's had. Like I remember the series from 2010. That's how long I've been in the kawaii scene. And then the last thing on this bag, she got me a Rilakkuma hand sanitizer. So cute. She's like on a melon pen. It's Sanex license. It's really cute and pink. And this smells so good like aloe vera I think. Here's the tag it came with. I really needed a hand sanitizer for my bag, so I'm really happy she got me that. Next, y'all, my bestie got me this Hello Kitty Squishmallow back here for my last birthday. So this birthday she got me the new Hello Kitty. This is like their new fall edition. Here's the tag, and I love the plaid, but I'm assuming this is like an 8 inch and this is a 10 inch. And then... I guess the last thing is this Hello Kitty Halloween t-shirt. She said she got this from Five Below. It's Hello Kitty as a witch on a broomstick. And I love all the spooky motif. And it says Wicked Cute. It's a size medium. And I'm obsessed with the tag. Like I wish this. I still love the print on the t-shirt. Like don't get me wrong. I'm happy she got it for me. But I wish this was on the t-shirt. I wish this mummy with the ghost motif was on the t-shirt. And then that's the back of the tag. I'm gonna keep this tag because it's so cute. That's everything I got for my birthday so far, but I think this is probably gonna be the end of the video. All right, and that was my haul, my birthday haul. Thank you for watching, and thank you for all the birthday wishes and happy birthdays down below in the comments. If you do leave them, please comment, like, and subscribe. All my love to you. Bye-bye.